Sex transmutation is the saving of sex energy for other uses besides sex. Semen is the vital energy which supports your life. Each sperm is capable of producing a human being if given the chance to fertilize. Semen is found in a subtle state in all the cells of the body. The more the wastage, the more the body weakens. The preservation of semen aids in all success in the physical, mental, intellectual and spiritual planes. How is semen formed? According to science, from the digested food child is formed. Out of chile comes blood, out of blood comes flesh, out of flesh comes fat, out of fat comes bone, out of bone comes marrow, out of marrow comes semen. Semen is the last variant that is formed out of food. It takes approximately 30 days and 4 hours to complete this cycle. Scientists believe that an intake of 32 kilograms of food produces 800 grams of blood, which in turn forms only 20 grams of semen. This will be discharged in one ejaculation. Now you can see how precious the semen is. Modern medicine says it is a medical and physiological fact that the best blood in the body goes to form the elements of reproduction, in both the sexes. In a pure and orderly life, this matter is reabsorbed. It goes back into circulation ready to form the finest brain, nerve and muscular tissues. This vital fluid of man carried back and diffused through his system makes him manly, strong, brave and heroic. If wasted, it leaves him effeminate, weak and physically debilitated. From the book, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, the emotion of sex has three uses. The perpetuation of mankind. As a healing agent. Transforming mediocrity into genius by transmutation. In his book, Way of the Superior Man, David Deida says excess ejaculation will diminish your courage to take risks, professionally and spiritually. You will settle for doing enough to get by, to be comfortable. But you will find that you would rather watch TV than write your novel, meditate or make that important phone call. You will have enough motivation to live a decent life, but ejaculation drain you of the cutting through energy that is necessary to pierce your own wall of lethargy and slice through the obstructions that arise in the world. Your gift will remain ungiven. It is common understanding that overindulgence in drinks and drugs lead to destruction, but it is uncommon for people to understand that overindulgence in sex can lead to the same thing. Once there was a gardener. He spent all his time, energy and wealth in developing a garden. In the garden flowers were grown. He made a perfume with the flower extract. And what he does next? He poured the perfume into a sewer. Don't you think the gardener is foolish? Most of us are like the gardener. The energy that is wasted during one ejaculation, tantamount to the energy that is spent in physical labor for 10 days, or the energy that is utilized in mental work for 3 days. Thus many of us are not less stupid than the gardener of the story. If you have a dam of water that keeps filling up, eventually it's going to get to the point that it overflows or breaks through and rushes out. The aim is not to suppress the energy but to sublimate it. Sublimation is not a matter of suppression but a positive transmutation process. It is the process of controlling the sex energy, conserving it, then diverting it into higher channels. Replace the cravings and urges with something productive. Newton did it with science, Mike Tyson did it with boxing, Steve Jobs did it with innovation, Michelangelo did it with art, Leo Tolstoy did it with writing. Force yourself to sit down and work, over time this gets easier and the work you produce will be of incredible quality. Masturbation and watching internet porn drains vital energy from you. It's like fire, you can either use it for good or burn yourself with it. Consciously use your sex energy and focus it on your life plan, just as fire is changed into light and electricity. It is very possible that you go through withdrawal problems in cutting back your porn usage, just like a drug or other addiction. You need to be aware of this and know how to deal with it. Don't try to resist or block sexual thoughts, just observe them with indifference. As you were observing a burning mountain from afar, 